Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Chris ZT and in today's video, I am finally bringing you guys my newest dribble tutorial. Now the last time I actually did a dribble tutorial, I believe was about season one of the game. And since then, not a lot of things have changed, but at the same time, a lot of things have changed. So today I'm going to bring you guys, to my knowledge, pretty much every single dribble move in this game you need to learn in order to become a comp guard. Now, as you guys could tell in the top left, we do have the hand cam for you guys. I know you guys absolutely love hand cam, so I decided to use one for today's video. But before we actually get into the tutorial, as always, I gotta show you guys all of the dribble moves that today we will be using so up first you guys already know which signature size of i will probably be using of course it is derrick rose signature size of dribble style is quick signature combos and the size of escape package is going to be both trey young moving cross is stephen curry which i don't know why it's stephen curry i actually recommend Giannis antetokounmpo now for the moving behind the back again it is damian lillard again i don't know why i have moving in the back damian lillard on i recommend scotty pippen i just can't be bothered to change it Basic spin is going, to, or a moving spin is going to be basic. John Wall has he and Jimmy Butler moving a step back. All right, so a lot of you guys watching this video might be, you know, amateurs or you might be pretty good at dribbling. I don't know what type of skill level you guys are, but I am going to try to go over for everyone's skill level. So one way to start a combo in 2K22 is doing a momentum cross. Obviously a momentum cross, you guys know how to do it. Just do a crossover and then run directly after it and you can spam it in this game still just as you could last year but in this game you actually do have to hold r2 so once again all you have to do is hold r2 flick your right stick opposite ball hand and then press or actually hold the left stick up so your my player moves and just like that you can do a momentum all right so now that we just spoke about the momentum cross here's another dribble move that was pretty much new to this game but it was in 2K21 next gen last year. So it is the, I call it the uh, the snatchback cross. So all your guys are gonna wanna do is hold R2, cross over and then pull down on your left stick. Pretty much that is all you guys need to do to do this move right here. And it is one of the best moves in the game. I mean, you could literally combo out of everything with this move. I mean, you could do a momentum into that. This move right here is going to be the basis of your combos. All right, so now a new dribble move that was added into this game. You guys are gonna need one of the Trey Young size ups that I showed. I'm not sure which one. I think it's the size up escape package. But in order to do this move, this move is very complicated. So do not get mad at yourself if you can't do it. So what you guys are gonna wanna do, again, just hold R2 and then carefully follow with me. If the ball is in your left hand, you're gonna wanna flick the right stick diagonal down so just like that as you would do a um a curry size up from last year you know the the curry behind the back that was really glitchy and then as you're doing that in the same motion you pull your left stick down a diagonal left or you could just do i think you could just do even a crossover but just like that you will get that move right there and this move right here honestly is one of the craziest moves to combo out of in this game if you could spam it and kind of just interpret it into your arsenal you will absolutely kill people so just as i said if the ball is in your left hand flick your left stick diagonal down to the left and then your right stick opposite i know it takes a little bit getting used to but once you do get used to it trust me you guys are going to want to use this move right here so just like that that is what it looks like as you guys can tell on the controller sometimes i do mess it up this controller does have stick drift because this is not my actual controller but you guys can already tell just like that the move that's what it looks like and if you guys get this down, trust me, this is one that you guys are going to want to learn in the my core. Once you guys get it down, trust me, you guys are going to be like, wow, this move is absolutely crazy. Because just as you do it, you guys are going to probably get that drill move right there a lot when you're practicing. Just as you do it, you can combo out of it. All right, so now we're going to move on to some of the advanced stuff that some of you may not know how to do. So this is something that I actually learned how to do. You guys, you guys probably saw the threes wagers that you guys were like, wow, you are horrible. You guys are probably correct, but since then, I've sat in the my court, I have learned how to dribble, and today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to quick peek. Now, a lot of you, a lot of you, you know, casual, more casual players probably don't know what a quick peek is. This is exactly what a quick peek is right here. You, you literally shoot off of your first dribble move. So today, I will be showing you guys how to do that. So, a lot of people have the misconception that you have to tap L2 in order to activate the quick stop. You do not actually have to tap L2, but... Here's the reason why I think you guys should be tapping L2. So, 
This is this is actually the basis of how to do this move. So basically, when you're coming off of a dribble like this, you see the first dribble, your guy does his first dribble, and then you let go of everything on your controller and tap all two and shoot all in the same motion. I know it sounds like a lot, and I apologize for putting it that way, but that's basically how you have to do it. So there are certain dribble moves you can do it off of in this game. So one of the first dribble moves that you could do the quick peek off of in this game is when you hold R2, do a crossover, move directly after it, tap L2, and just like that, you just shoot the ball. That is the easiest way I could explain it to you guys. But if once again, I know you guys love looking at the controller, so look at the controller as I do it. It's all about timing. So don't get mad at yourself if you're, you know, doing it too late and then like fading, all of that. If you guys are fading, just honestly try to get the right timing. And once you guys get it into your muscle memory, trust me, you guys will be able to do it. All it takes in this game is just timing, keep learning, and I advise you guys to learn this quick peek. It is literally the greatest way to get up open shots in this game because there's so many times, especially on next gen, even on current gen, there's so many times where a guy just fades and does some stupid stuff. So I advise you guys to learn this quick peek. So off of this move right here, it is a little bit of a different timing, but as you guys could tell, when it comes to the quick peek off of the Derrick Rose, you guys still will be able to do it. So once again, as I explained, for the Derrick Rose, all you have to do is activate the Derrick Rose, run one way off of the first, your guy will do the first dribble. Pretty much when you see your guy do the first dribble, you tap L2 and then shoot just like that. Like I said in the beginning, you do not have to actually tap L2, but the reason why I do tap L2 is because it kind of gives me like a mental note of like, okay, when I tap L2, that's when I let go of everything and then just shoot. Trust me guys, sit in the my court, learn how to do this. When you learn how to do this, you guys will become absolute demons. I mean, look at, I'm gonna show you guys some of, some of my clips of just me using it as opposed to not using it. I mean, it's absolutely crazy. It's like night and day. I mean, honestly, if you guys don't learn this, then you guys can't become comp guards, if I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. Right here, I'm going to give you guys a few examples of what I'm talking about. So right here, I am playing stage with my guy Hubsy and sub -goated. We're playing against a little bit of competition. So as you guys can tell, I get a double team, boom, directly shoot off of the Derrick Rose. As you guys can tell right there, once again, that is what we refer to as a quick peek right there. If I didn't do the quick peek, I am not getting an open shot. So as you guys can tell, Derrick Rose, boom, tap L2 and just shoot straight away. Now right here, once again, I come up the court, start dribbling and right here, tap L2 as I do the Derrick Rose and boom, green from literally like beat. That was like beyond half court without takeover. That to me is absolutely crazy and I, I literally think that the only reason why I green that is because of the quick peek. Now one thing I forgot to mention to you guys is that when you're shooting off of the quick peek it will be a little bit faster than your normal jump shot but trust me once you guys get used to it it is it is completely worth getting used to. I mean look at that look at how fast I got that shot off. I know I know I'm repeating a lot of these clips but I just want you guys to see how effective this move is just in case you guys are being stubborn and don't want to learn it. I mean that is absolutely crazy. If I attempted to shoot that without actually doing the quick peek, you guys you guys would have just seen me fade. So here's another clip, I'm not sure what this is. I do believe this is another one of these uh, quick peeks because I've been saving them for this uh, dribble tutorial. So as you guys can tell, again, quick peek, boom. That is absolutely insane. I mean, without, without doing the quick peek there, you guys probably would have just seen me fade and miss and this clip probably wouldn't even be seen. So right here, again, I do it off of the actual, the, the R2 dribble move and boom. As you guys can tell, please interpret this into your arsenal. It is the greatest move in 2K22, without a doubt. All right, since we are again on the topic of quick peeks, here's another way you can actually quick peek. So as you guys can tell, that move I showed you guys before, that little snatch back, when you're at the three-point line like this, if you just top back like this, tap L2, boom, you could shoot out of that too. So once again, I have to emphasize, guys, please learn how to quick peek. It is the greatest move in this game. And if you guys can't get it down, Please keep trying. It is the best move in this game. So from everything I showed you guys, that is pretty much, in my opinion, all you need to know. That is literally all you need to know in to how to dribble in this game. I mean, there's a lot of things. Like, obviously, there's this misdirection right here that people do. But as you guys can tell, it's pretty easy to do. I mean, you just do, you just flick your right stick without holding turbo. And then once you flicked it, you hold turbo on the opposite hand. And then just, you can just do it like that. I mean, that that is pretty self-explanatory in my opinion. But in case you guys didn't know, that is actually how you do it. And there is a few more moves you could quick peek, quick peek off of. I mean, there's this move right here that you could quick peek off of, like that. Not that, 
exact speed boost, you're gonna get a better speed boost most of the time. Like, I think... Here, let me try to get the exact speed boost. I actually can't do it, okay? I can't do it? Okay, well, whatever. Um, When it comes to quick peeking, there's a lot of moves you can actually do it off of. So just, like I said, I cannot emphasize this enough. I Like I said, I've been saying this pretty much the whole video, but please learn how to quick peek because if you do, if you don't, that is exactly what will happen. All right, before we end the video, I am actually going to show you guys my badges. I know a lot of you guys always wonder what my badges are. So this is what my one um, finishing badge is on, Limitless Takeoff. My shooting badges look like this. Hall of Fame Blinders, Silver Chef, Silver Dead Eye, Silver Green Machine, Gold Hot Zone Hunter, Hall of Fame Mismatch, Hall of Fame Stop and Pop, and Hall of Fame Sniper. Now, this is what it looks like when I'm kind of just playing stage. And if I'm not playing stage, then my bronze or my sniper will be on bronze. And then I'll probably up my Dead Eye to gold, Green Machine maybe up, and then like probably Clutch Shooter or up throw on Lucky Number 7. But for the meantime, we have Hall of Fame Sniper. Now, for my playmaking badges, I know this again is something that you guys always want to see so i'm showing you guys i have bailout on bronze bullet passer hall of fame handles today's hall of fame quick first step hall of fame quick chain hall of fame unblockable hall of fame and floor general hall of fame now a lot of people actually have been telling me that quick chain is pretty useless i don't know how accurate that is but i like quick chain so i keep quick chain on if it becomes useless i'll let you guys know in a future video or something like that now for my seven defensive badges this is what it looks like this is this is my whole wager setup i mean Bronze Chase Down, Silver Clam, Silver Intimidator, and Silver Interceptor. That is what it looks like. In case you guys are wondering, this is my six foot play shot. This is the attributes right here at 99. This is what you guys are going to see in future wagers. Um, I'm not sure if I'll go lower, like a 510. I probably won't because guarding ball in a 510 is literally suicide. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Now, I apologize if I wasn't clear enough, but basically, to sum up this video, Learn how to do the snatchback, learn how to do the quick peek, learn how to do the uh, the misdirection through the legs, whatever you want to call it. But I hope you guys do enjoy this video. I love you guys, man. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day.